Yeah, guys, I slept in today and I decided I'm just never going to sleep again because look what I woke up to. Mike Leach leaving Pullman. We're showing you video right now of Mike Leach landing today in Mississippi. We got to talk to WSU AD Pat Shun earlier and he said the school is owed a $2.25 million buyout from Leach's contract. He would not tell us who or if he had talked to any other football coaches about the gig yet. He would also not put a timetable on when he wanted a head coach hired by saying he just wants to find the best fit however long it takes. Here's more from Chan on how he found out Leach was leaving, if he wants the team to continue to be an air raid squad, and if the university was prepared for Mike Leach to go. Yeah, Mike has always been great about um open lines of communication. I think everyone knows him in the room. I mean, he is he's an open book. So uh, there's never been anything that's popped up that that we had not talked about. Uh, we'd actually talked a couple of days ago and then he um, and actually a couple of days ago, I, 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 I was I guess I left that conversation feeling um, we were in good shape and my assumption is something changed in the last 24 hours. And he called me this morning and said he accepted the job. So, um, you know, it was a it was a, you know, bittersweet phone call best coach possible yeah we don't want to we don't want to put any type of parameters on what we're going to try to do I think what's worked best for us I mean there is a reality here at Washington State um, if you can go find the right coach and history shows that whether it's Mike Leach Mike Price uh, Tony Bennett George Raveling um, if you got to go find the right coach that can win at Washington State so we're going to go find the best coach possible for us we're as ready as you can be um, you know, the hope was this day wasn't going to come, but we always need to prepare that if it was coming. So uh, we're ready and we'll go and, and we'll, we'll, we'll get the right person here. Now Chun turns towards finding their new head coach for this program. In terms of that next head coach, Twitter was ablaze today talking about former defensive coordinator Alex Grinch and the possibility of him coming back. Football Scoop reported, reporting that he is on the short list for WSU and that if he were hired, he would want to bring back former running backs coach Jim Mastro and linebackers coach Ken Wilson, both of whom left for Oregon over the past two seasons. Grinch himself left WSU to become the the defensive coordinator at Ohio State after the Cougs 2017 season. He was there for one season before leaving after Urban Meyer stepped down this past season. He was the defensive coordinator at Oklahoma. It isn't just fans, by the way, voicing their support for Grinch. Players have as well. Former linebacker Ivan McClellan saying if Coach Leach is really gone, there is only one man WSU Cougar football should hire, and that's Coach Grinch. Please make it happen. Uh, and then offensive lineman Coach Cody O'Connell, former offensive lineman Cody O'Connell, also replying to Evan's tweet saying, I'm down for this. Grinch is the man for the job. And my personal favorite tweet of the uh, all the player tweets was current linebacker Jihad Woods just tweeting a gif of the Grinch. So I think that pretty much says it all. At least the defensive players very much wanting, wanting Grinch to return. Uh, as we And now we just wait. Pat Chun has made a hire before for a head football coach at Florida, at FAU, excuse me, in Lane Kiffin. But this is by far and away the biggest hire so far of his athletic director career. Reporting in Pullman, I'm Brenna Green from Two Sports.